But who better than me? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Base Talks. On this one, I had the honor yet again to be chopping it up with my guy Dan Aziz, super Dan Aziz at the live Gloves Are Off that took place at Box Park Wembley earlier on today. Um, I've only just got home, so I'm editing this one up real quick for you guys to just see what me and him spoke about. There was a lot more that I wanted to say, that I wanted to speak to him about, I wanted to ask him, but I was kind of pressed for time. Um, had to sort of respect him, his team and everyone else. But as you'll see in the video, like, you know, we had a good rapport, good exchange, and it's always love when I chat to him. Um, the interview, everything I spoke about has no bearing on how I will ultimately do my basis picks tomorrow. But um, yeah, this is obviously just, uh, I guess two brothers from the same ends chopping it up for a bit just talking about the fight coming up so please watch enjoy let me know your comments leave your comments down below and uh, yeah without further ado here's the interview Yo, this is Base the Kid, the hardcore casual, and delighted once again to be joined by my guy, former Forest Hill Boys alum, man like Dan Aziz, Lewisham Zone. Dan, how you feeling? Uh, how are you now that like it's finally here, it's fight week, and you're ready to go? Yeah, I feel good, man. Um, I guess I'm just trying to preserve my energy because I know, you know, fight night. That's where I want to put everything into. Um, but yeah, first and foremost, I want to big up Forest Still Boys as well. And um, yeah, man, I'm, I'm looking forward to it, man. We've got a day and a couple hours and yeah, we're there. Now, you've always been a fighter that seems to get the best out of himself with constant activity, just being active, constantly learning, developing under the hot lights. You've gone from, you know, Southern area, English, British, Commonwealth, European. You've pretty much done everything except challenge for a world title right now. But with that all being said, how do you feel this the, the change and the, the the delay from the previous fight night where you would have been your third fight of 2023 now to sort of here the extra couple months how do you feel like that's affected your overall momentum that you had before then um it's still not that long compared to other you know some people don't box like a year in between so where did i fight i think my last fight was in june july yes yeah, so okay maybe six months i would have liked to have probably fought obviously but things happen. This is my first time I've ever had to pull out of a fight. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, so we deal with it. We move on. Back out. New new date. We're a day away. So I don't think it's affecting me too much. But I am someone I like to be busy. Like the last fight I had was literally because I wanted to fight. Like I was like, listen, I'm going away. I said, I'm, I need to fight. And then Ben just asked me, he's like, where are you? I said, I've gone away to um, Italy. He goes, hold on, like, literally it was so sporadic, like, he said, hold on, I have no promoter, like, do you want to fight on this card? And literally that's how the fight happened. But because I like to be busy, I'm a boxer, like, do you know what I mean? I'm not just here for, obviously I want the big fights, but I think I'm a, bit, a better boxer when I'm just active, constantly in the gym, constantly out there. It helps you handle times like this as well, with the pressure and the spotlight, so yeah. I hear that. So also with regards to obviously the injury and everything, like you was at a commission for a little while. I know you was down, like nobody couldn't hear from you. But how has training been back obviously with it? Do you still, have you been feeling it? Has it like proper dissipated? Do you still worry about the, it when you're in the ring sparring and whatever? Like how is it, how is the recovery? Yeah, well, when it first happened, I think I was out for about, I didn't do any boxing for about maybe four weeks, four to six weeks literally just rehab physio um to be fair like even like my physio my my physio has really made me recover very very quickly i'll be honest like they were even like bro like we're shocked like you've been able to recover this quick and it's just because um dedicated to the sport i lived the life do you know what i mean otherwise it would have taken longer do you know how many people are here like yeah i'll just bend over to like Tie my shoes on my back when it's like very common, do you know what I mean? Unfortunately, it happened to me when I was about to have the biggest fight of my life. So, um, yeah, it's all good now, man. Like, I'll be honest, with all due respect, Josh is someone I wouldn't go in there. It wouldn't be advisable to go in there with something that's really 
like putting you at a disadvantage. So I wanted to make sure I was fully recovered before I, you know, step in there with him. And it's a big fight as well. Like, do you know what I mean? I don't want, look at what happened with Smith and Eubank. Do you know what I mean? I don't want to rob not only myself, I don't want to rob the fans of a great fight. Like, do you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I wanted to make sure I was in shape to not only become, to get to the ring, but to also be victorious. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm not here to make up the numbers. I'm one of, uh, you know, I'm there to win. With regards to the fact of you obviously having to try and stay in shape while not being able to train or do much like that, do you feel like the fact that you're a bit of a smaller light heavyweight who doesn't have to strip off too much weight worked in your advantage? Oh no, it definitely does. Definitely works in my advantage. Um, Cause you get a lot of people, like a lot of these light heavies, even uh, this camp, I was sparring, they're super middles and they're huge, you know, like I remember even when I was uh, sparring Baturbiev, he's like, you, you light heavy? No, you like middleweight, like, so I was like, raw, like a lot of these guys, they're big, but I'm confident within myself. Like I'm not someone that I feel like I need to go down to have an advantage. I am what I am, whether I'm small or whatnot. Look at, um, who's that small, um, light heavy that fought Evander? He's tiny, Dwight. Cowie? Uh, who? Was it Dwight Cowie? That's it. He's like five, six or something like that. Like tiny. Look how good he was like. So it's not about the height, man. Do you know what I mean? There's so many other things that factor into, you know what I mean? Tyson was my height, like as a heavyweight. Imagine him standing next to Tyson Fury. Like it's not about the height. It's not about how big or small you are. It's about what's, what's here, do you know what I mean? What's up here? And whether you got the, you know, balls to just go in there and do what you need to do, so yeah. Yeah, that last one from me. Um, so look, with regards to this fight, it was initially supposed to be the O2, two Southeast London man, you know, scrapping out in the Mecca, like for all the marbles. How do you feel uh, the environment has changed possibly with coming to now Northwest, you know, all the Southeast friends, the family, everyone's down there, moving to the other side of the city. Do you, do you envision the, the atmosphere to be a little bit different on the night or is it going to be the same raucous crowd as before? Do you know what? I wanted it to be O2 because it's literally 10 minutes from my yard. Like I was talking to my dad the other day and he was like, oh, like, why is it? Why is it? Um, no, he said it's at Wembley. I said, yeah, man, but I would have preferred it at O2, dad. He's like, why, man? Wembley's good. I was like, nah, man, like, O2, that's where I want my, um, what was it? The southern area. Like, it's, just, it's the O2, do you know what I mean? Just like, but hey, still got a job to do. Wembley's still lovely. It's where I won the British title. So I've got memories everywhere, man. So God willing, we, we make another um, milestone in my career. I hear that. Listen, I'm going to let you go. Um, but before I do, as I said, I've been trying to call you. I've been trying to text you and you don't answer and you don't respond. But so I had to bring it with me today. But I want to give it to you on camera so you can see that. You've got the people, you've got the people's support and that, and you've got the, you've got the, the end support. Let the people see what it is. Show everyone. Look, he's promised me this hat. Lewisham Legends, do you know what? Big up Lewisham. Obviously that's the borough I'm from. That's where, you know, I was brought up. And yeah, man, it's great to have my whole borough behind me. And yeah, we're gonna do it this, this, um, this Saturday. Look, look at that. Look at that, Aziz SE 30 Wicked. <laughs> and with that being said, Dan, I'm going to let you go off. Best of luck for Saturday, man. All the best. So, there you have it. I mean, Dan looks ready. And one key thing that he did say to me in that interview, which I'm sure hope, I hope you all caught, was when he basically said, like, he saw what happened between Liam Smith and Chris Eubank Jr. So he felt a duty to not only just be able to turn up into the ring, but to make sure that he can put on the best possible fight and have the absolute best chance of winning. So while I don't know whether the back injury is fully healed or if it's like, you know, really 100%, he's saying that he's done what he's needed to do to make sure that it won't be a factor in this fight. Is that the truth? I don't know. Like I said, I didn't get a chance to really delve into some of the, the questions and answers that I needed, but ultimately we're here now. So thank you very much for watching. Again, like, subscribe and share. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought. You can let me know your predictions or you can wait for the basis picks video, which will be dropping tomorrow afternoon. Um, but with that being said, thank you very much. Uh, catch you on the next base talks. But until then, Peace.